Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about weathering. Uh, the kit that I'm working on is a Airfix Curtis Tomahawk. Uh, I'm doing it obviously in desert colors. <clears throat> and right now I am in the process of doing the weathering. I do want to say that this kit, and I, say, and I said it in an earlier video, this kit is, it's a really nice kit. Um, and I'm really enjoying myself doing this particular kit. But for the weathering, I am using the uh, AK watercolor pencils. Uh, these pencils, uh, if you've seen some of my, my, some of my other videos, they're really nice pencils. I really like them. Uh, I use them quite a bit on my models. So, and you know, so go ahead and check out my other videos uh, to kind of get an idea of 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 the uh, of these pencils. Uh, but I'm gonna do a little bit more weathering here. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm using. So I'm using three colors using dark rust buff and of course i'm using sand now you don't have to do multiple colors you can do just one you can just just you can do just two or you can use three four five six how many of your colors you wish um i chose to do three colors to kind of get a multi-layer color uh, scheme going on with the weathering. Now I don't know if you can see this in the camera because I'm going more for subtle effects more than just a dramatic uh, weathering effect. So this wing here is the one that I've weathered. And if you look in the panel lines and stuff, hopefully you can see that in there. You see bits of what would be sand in there, right? But obviously that's the AK pencil material on there. And here's the other wing, which is unweathered. So, and I don't know if the camera picks up the difference between those two wings too much, but um, I did go over the entire aircraft with the Flory's uh, weather wash. Uh, the sand color. Um, again, really nice weather wash, this stuff. Uh, and it's clay based, it's water based, so it's very easy to work with and very forgiving. So, another one of my favorite little things that I use. So, let's get back to these AK pencils. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to weather the entire wing because that would make this video just unbelievably long. So I'm just going to weather a portion of the wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to weather um, on this outboard portion here, um, just outside of the roundel, right out here, to kind of give you guys an idea of, of how these pencils are used. All right, so I'm going to start with the dark rust. So I'm going to start with the darker colors and work my way out to the lighter colors. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to dip it in the, the tip in the water for just a few seconds. You don't need to go for a real long time. Okay. And then I'm going to take my brush and get a little bit on there because these are basically watercolor pencils after all. So they work essentially like watercolors. And I'm going to take the plain wing here. Like I said, I'm just going to go outside of the roundel, so I'm going to start about here. And I'm just going to brush on. This, uh, what, what I'm getting off of the, uh, AK pencil. Doesn't take much. And I'll 
just go right down into the flap there. And the wing. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let it dry a little bit. And once it's dry, and it doesn't take a real long time, you just only need to wait a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, however long you want to wait. And then you just take your normal everyday Q-tip cotton swab, get it a little bit wet, it doesn't need to be real wet. Squeeze the, any of the excess water out. And then, in a streaking motion, toward the back of the plane, right, because the plane flies forward, obviously. You go ahead and you just start streaking that stuff backward. And basically your goal is to leave the material in the panel lines, because that's where dirt is most likely uh, going to accumulate. Now this darker color admittedly does not show up as well as my two lighter colors that I'm using, but it is there. Um, you know, sometimes I guess we do things to models that we're not quite sure why we do them or if they'll even, you'll be able to see them, but there. And there's not much of a difference visually that you can really see in the camera, I don't think. But there is a slight difference. You see the, how the line is a little darker than it was. So it does make a slight difference. The next color I'm going to use is buff. Right here. So same process as the other one. So put the tip of the pencil in the water. Let it get a little soft. I don't know if you can see that color coming off of the tip of the pencil. I think you can in the camera, yeah. That's kind of how you know uh, that your your pencil is is uh, ready to use in the model. So, And then you just take your brush. Same process as before, no different. You apply this. I think my brush is a little too wet. All right. And the nice thing about these pencils, as I've said before in some of my other videos, um, is that these are water based, so they're really easy to work with and very, very forgiving. The nice thing, too, is that they don't. Um, they don't harm the paint. However, I have noticed that the darker colors will actually stain the paint. Yeah, if you leave it if you leave it on there too long, you can actually stain your paint. So so if you're working with like a white surface, um, then then you're gonna you could have some staining issues, but Overall, um, you know, these, I think these pencils, for any modeler who is seriously, who is serious about um, weathering their models, I think these are a worthy investment. I mean, the full kit is like 60, about $65 or so. Um, in my humble opinion, it is worth just about every penny that you could possibly pay for these things so I'm still waiting for this to dry a little bit probably, probably a little too much water that I used this time around 
So I'm gonna take this other brush here and I'm just gonna kind of go over everything here. Normally I would just wait for it to dry, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do this to try and promote it to dry a little quicker. So. That's all right. And I'm gonna take a handy dandy Q-tip here. And I'm gonna do the same thing I've done before. And I'm gonna just streak back toward the rear of the aircraft. Again, the differences are very, very subtle, so not as dramatic, but you can also maybe see the, where the dark camo is. It's, it looks dirty now, right, compared to like some of this stuff up here, which looks a little bit, uh, some of these up here, which look a little bit cleaner. Um, this actually looks dirty. There's a nice little uh, hue of dirt on there if, if you will so like this whole wing here has that that hue of dirt over the whole thing so and that's kind of another little effect of these pencils so all right so the next one will be sand so once again we'll put the tip of the pencil in water here some of the material on my pencil here or my q-tip my brush wow okay my brush <laughs> and once again I will apply it to a plane finished with that. Alrighty. So there we go. Wait a few seconds for this to dry. So another thing about um, your weathering is you want to do some research and pay attention to the environment, your aircraft that you're doing operated in. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't want to do an aircraft that is operating in the desert, you wouldn't want to do it, uh, put, um, uh, you know, black dirt all over it, right? It is the wrong environment. Same with, uh, you know, unless, unless it was one of those cases where you had an aircraft that was operating in such an environment, like, you know, a, a desert aircraft was operating in an air, in an, an environment with, you know, a lot of black dirt or something like that. So, um, but it's nice to do the research. And the thing is, like, for me, because I also love history, um, 
doing the research, I really enjoy that part of it because uh, it, I learn something as I go. So, and it's just one of those things like as you as you build your models and you get, you know, maybe you desire to do it a little more historically accurate. Um, this is kind of one of those things that you can, you know, you can learn how to do. So, all right. So as before, we're going to streak, 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 streak. Now you'll start to notice in these panel lines here. Now you'll really start to see. And this is the payoff right here. You'll really start to see this. Now already you can see that, especially where the where you have the alternate color of the camo uh, here, you can see the sand color from the pencil that I just applied. The other thing to keep in mind too is that the sand would not have accumulated evenly in all of your panel lines. So as you go over this, you're actually going to see some of the material come out of the panel lines uh, from the Q-tip, which is fine. Because um, if you look at real aircraft, they don't weather or they don't accumulate dirt uniformly. So. Um, so not every nook and cranny of your aircraft is going to have a bunch of dirt in it. You know, because it's kind of like the same with your car. Like as you drive your car down the road, you know, the front's going to be dirtier than the back, you know, or, you know, if, if you live in a northern state where there's salt on the roads, you know, you're going to, the bottom of your car is going to have all that salt and uh, debris all over it compared to obviously the top of your car. So same kind of rule for aircraft. Um, they don't weather evenly in that regard. So it's just something to keep in mind, something to think about. All right, so as I went over it, as you saw before, right, you had all that very, very noticeable uh, material in there. And now because I went over with the Q-tip, it's not quite quite as noticeable, but you can see it a little bit there. I mean, it's like here, especially here on this leading edge of the wing, where the, air, where the machine guns will go, right there, or these panels here. I mean, you can kind of see some of the, the sand and stuff that is in there, especially on this darker color. So it's going to be the same effect over here on this wing that I just did, and especially when I get to the roundel. Um, you'll see the dirt uh, in the round hole as well. So, there you have it, guys. That is pretty much what I wanted to cover uh, with this little video here. Um, hope you guys find uh, this kind of stuff useful and advantageous to you. So, <clears throat> if you guys could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and start liking the videos, make comments on the videos, let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I would be all too happy to go ahead and accommodate for you guys. All right, so you all take care. I'll talk to you later. Happy modeling.